<laughs> well, you're right. Yeah, but having was in a long while. I know. <laughs> All right, it is six o'clock, so we will call to order our planning commission meeting for Monday, September 16th. And the first order of business is uh, to approve our minutes from the August 19th planning commission meeting. Make a motion to approve minutes from August 19th, 2019. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Moving on in to new business, we have a lot split. <clears throat> City of Paines has received a lot split application from the Darwin Building Corporation at 125 James Street East. The properties in question are zone C1, Central Business District. The parcel to be split is located at 125 James Street East. Tax parcel number 70.39004.0000. And the parcel to which the split is to be added is located at 110 Lake Avenue South. Tax parcel number 70.39001.0000. The lots in question are conforming and it is proposed to split an area 25 feet in width from the north to south and 96 feet in length from east to west off of the property of the Darwin Building Corporation and attach that parcel to the property of the uh, community service center. And after this lot, lot split, both lots would remain conforming in all respects. And the split would not result in any non-buildable non or non-conforming lots. The legal description of the property to be split off of the lot of the Darwin Building Corporation would be described as follows. The westerly 96 feet of the south 25 feet of lot Lot 3, Block 2, Haynes Edition, Stearns County, Minnesota. There is a demonstrated need for the, for the lot split. The split would allow Darwin Building Corporation to dispose of lands that are not of any use to it, and it would allow the Community Service Center to attach property to their southerly edge of its property, which would allow access to the sliding door on the south of the Community, community Service Center building. Our administrator has some Additional comments. Yes, if the lot split is approved, it should include the following condition. The deed of conference from the Darwin Building Corporation to the Community Service Center must contain the legal description of the land to be attached, the legal description of the tract to which it is to be attached, and the following language as written there um, under administrator comments. Seems like a pretty simple split to me. Yep, that's, they just want to get rid of that orange piece, give it to the service center. So, anybody have any questions or comments about that? No. We have we'll to, entertain a motion. You have to do your, is it a worksheet? Uh, we don't have a worksheet for this nope. one. No worksheet. I make a motion. Oh. A motion to approve findings of facts and recommendations of the planning board regarding lots, but I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Moving on in informational. Turn it over to our building official for the building inspector report. So like we'd expect in the fall, it's picked up a little bit and I've also been able to knock out a couple of uh, older permits. So things are progressing. The 2017 permits that are still outstanding should be done this month. Perfect. <clears throat> Any questions for our building official? And you're caught up? I'm caught up. Our next meeting is Monday, October 7th at 6 p.m. if needed. And at this time, do we have anything? I have nothing. Okay. Then our meeting is adjourned.
Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Me too.